Hello our DBT BET exam aspirants. So if you are looking for DBT BET exam biotechnology eligibility test. Basically this test is for those who are uh, dreaming of becoming a biotechnologist in India. And if you want to be a biotechnologist in India for higher education, for higher research and, and processes, then DBT BET is another very good option for you, where the DBT Department of Biotechnology, Central Government of India will provide you stipend to conduct your own research. And that's what DBT BET exam is all about. So now in this video, I'm going to talk about all the little details about the DBT BET exam. So start with the number of tests per year is once a year. Medium of the test English only validity period of the test result is for two years. So if you qualify this exam, then that exam qualification will be valid for two years. So you can apply to a lab to conduct your research for two years with the help of the report of the qualification. Fellowship duration five years from the date of activation of fellowship, just like the CSI net, UGC net. That's pretty much standard. If government is providing you uh, a stipend, then obviously the government will provide it for the five years in India. And then comes fellowship amount that is 31,000 per month plus HRA and uh, annual contingency grant of 30,000 per year as a GRF. As a SRF, this will increase to 36,000 and also contingency grant will increase. Mode of examination is computer based test that is CBT mode. The number of seats available for the DBT bet is uh, 275, which is higher than ICMR GRF. Time duration for the DBT bet exam is 3 hours. Maximum marks for the DBT bet exam is 300 marks. Nature of questions here in the DBT bet exam will be MCQ type. Number of questions in DBT bet will be 200 questions. So in part B, total 50 questions, 150 questions will be there. You need to answer 50 out of 150 questions. It will carry three marks each. So three into 50 will be 150 marks. Okay. Three into 50 will be 150. That is the pattern. Negative marking for each wrong answer will be one third. Okay. So near about 33% negative marking. Eligibility criteria. B, B Tech, MSc, M Tech, MVSc, Integrated MSc, M Tech in Biotechnology. So any stream from the Biotechnology background, Life Science or any other allied areas of Biology students can apply for DBT BET exam. Okay. Or you can go with MSc, M Tech, MVSc. So anything related to B, B Tech or MSc, M Tech, that equivalent program and that is supported under the DBT Postgraduate Teaching Program are eligible for the DBT BET exam. Okay, for general EWS and OBC category, the minimum marks needed uh, in your graduation or masters, that is your uh, most recent exam is 60%. For SCST and, and uh, differentially abled, differently abled, minimum 55% marks needed. For general category, 60% marks needed. EWS and OBC fall to the same 60% marks slab. Then comes the age limit for DBT bed exam. For GRF, 28 years for general and EWS category. Now relaxation up to five years for SCST physically handicapped and women candidates. So that makes 33 years for them. And relaxation up to three years, that is 33 years for OBC non premier candidates. So this age criteria or age limit for DBT bet exam is very similar to that of the age limit for the ICMR JRF, age limit for the CSR net. Because in all these cases, general category students age limit 28, for female category 33, for SCST PH category 33 for OBC non premier category 31. DBT GRF category there are two kinds of results and based on the two results there are different kinds of fellowship provided. GRF category 1 and DBT GRF category 2. The DBT GRF category 1 qualifying candidates are eligible to avail the fellowship under the DBT GRF program itself. For DBT GRF category 2 no fellowship will be given but will be eligible to be appointed in any DBT sponsored project and if they get any DBT sponsored project and from the project's uh, funding the person can be funded their PhD can be, can be funded. So there are multiple ways uh, a PhD can be done in India and this is one of the ways uh, to have a project funding and to continue your PhD with the help of the project funding. So that is all about the fellowship type for DBT BET exam. So that is all about the DBT BET exam details. If you want to prepare for DBT bed exam, then you can watch our app. You can download our Shomus Biology application in your Android or you can simply click the link in the description. You'll be redirected to the DBT bed courses. There are plenty of courses available in our app that may suit your uh, exam preparation pattern. And based on that, you can continue your journey of DBT bed exam preparation and all the very best because we want you 
to become DBT GRF and DBT SRF in upcoming future. So you can take the course, it will help you and the prices are slashed right now because we are launching introductory offer. So you can watch it out always. That's all about this video about the DBT bet exam. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Video acha lage to video ko like karna aur video ko dosto ke saath share karo taaki sab milke preparation kar paaye aur all the best for the upcoming exam. Thank you. Bye.